Amidst the backdrop of these difficult times, we are celebrating today the four decades of SOS Children's Village Davao's movement in providing family care to those children who have lost parental care and family strengthening programs for those children who are at risk of losing parental care, especially here in Mindanao. Is it worth celebrating this fight of the ongoing pandemic? Yes, of course. 40 years of creating positive social impact is worth celebrating. Bringing up children to be resilient and self-reliant individuals that contribute to a better society is worth celebrating. Empowering young people to become their best and strongest selves and developing communities to have strong and self-reliant families so as to prevent child abandonment is very much worth celebrating. And with the continued support of our donors and benefactors and the selfless dedication of our SOS mothers and co-workers, we will keep doing this, improving our ways as we move on towards a post-pandemic era that we will be facing ahead. In 1981, the first batch of children found home in the loving care of SOS families with their SOS mothers caring and supporting them, ensuring that they live in the most natural and normal family environment until either reuniting with their biological families or becoming self-reliant. From then, SOS Children's Wells Devo extended its reach to vulnerable families in the communities and through the years of continuous improvements, focusing on quality care, child safeguarding, and youth empowerment. In 2019, an independent study known as the Social Impact Assessment was conducted in SOS Children's Village Davao and the results show that 98% of those who grew up in SOS Children's Village are doing well, especially in terms of their social and emotional well-being. 98% also in the area of protection and social inclusion. All this they attribute to how SOS Children's Village Davao brought them up. In our family strengthening programs, 98% of former participants are doing well in at least 6 out of 8 dimensions and 83% are doing well across in all dimensions. Former participants are doing particularly well in the terms of care, food security, accommodation, health, protection, social inclusion, and social and emotional well-being. Further, the study concluded that overall benefit cost ratio is 3 to 1 with an investment of 1 euro yielding benefits to society 2.77 euros and that SOS Children's Villages program has a social return on investment of 177% which means that an investment of 1 euro returns an additional worth of 1.77 euros on top of the initial cost. Clearly, it shows that we are creating positive impact in our society. That is something we should celebrate. So my dear SOS friends, benefactors, donors, supporters, and colleagues, share with our children, young people, mothers, and co-workers this joy and celebrate with us in the comfort of your homes as we present to you our 40th anniversary virtual concert. Padayong 40 years of engaging alternative family care in Mindanao. Daghang salamat.